Hey, what's up Halo fans? Welcome back to another Halo video. Now, today's video, we are going to be showcasing Halo 4's Mythic Overhaul campaign. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are going to um, ask me why I have not been uploading on YouTube. Uh, and it's true, I have not been uploading on YouTube. It's been, what, five months? I mean, it's been eight months since I've done a, a face cam video and, you know, with commentary. Uh, but yeah, uh, you know, I was away for eight months and I was on a vacation and, you know, that's why that's why I couldn't really get around, you know, just making a video like this. But finally, finally, I'm back, and you know, we can definitely, um, you know, hopefully start making more videos of you know showcasing mods and you know stuff like that. All right, so we're gonna be starting off with the mission called Requiem. I played the first mission and it was really good. Uh, the reason why I want to start on Requiem because it's more open and you're on Requiem and you can there's a bit more exploration basically. But yeah, we can we can go ahead and you know we can go ahead and play this. Uh, yeah. And for those that are asking, is this mod on consoles or is it only on PC? It's only on PC. I do get a lot of people saying is this on consoles. No, it's only on PC. And I did play the first mission. And my gosh, like Mythic has done an amazing job with this game. Um, if I ever want to introduce anyone to Halo 4, I'll probably just tell them to download Halo 4's Mythic. But that's only if they're on PC. Um, she watched the cutscene. I think my in-game audio might be too loud. Just give me a second. Ugh, way too loud. I keep around 18. Alright. 18 sounds good. I hear people. Yeah. Master Chief's armor looks amazing. Like, I don't know why Tier 3 never went with this kind of art style. Um, it makes sense. You know, I don't get the whole thing, you know, changing on Master Chief's armor, you know, while he was in the cry to, in uh, at the assault of H4. It just doesn't really make sense. And then we have the assault rifle, the classic assault rifle. Yeah. I did see videos of this on YouTube and you know, people that were trying out this model while I was on vacation. Just look at him, man. Look how good he looks. He looks way better, like, compared to the OG. I mean, the OG, don't get me wrong, it's pretty good. It's pretty solid, but... But, it, are we? but we should have got this. Impact data. Bro, it's like I'm watching a sequel to H3. Like, to, you know, a sequel to Halo, Halo 3. I'm glad that he kept Cortana. Cortana is excellent art so the, the aesthetics and everything, like so good. Really? I'm fine. Cortana. I was put into service eight years ago. I can't tell if that's um eight years. If that's the H 3s armor, Halo 3's armor. You must have like I think you probably like, you know, actually did more to it or something. With the Halo 3 armor. We need to find Halsey. Chief, please. She I made you. She can fix you. I won't recover from Rampage. Unless if it's um, Halo China British armor. Get back to Can't tell. And find Halsey. She can fix this. But regardless, regardless, it looks incredible in H4. Make a girl a promise you can't keep. Yeah. We need to move. All right, let's go. Yeah, and it, this is the assault rifle. I like how it has lights. I don't think I don't think the OG uh, has lights. Why? Does it? We still need And it has a US uh, UNNC icon. And this is the reach pistol, which is very nice. I think it's got the uh, reach uh, sounds as well. I'm sure he added the Halo uh, Three Magnum somewhere. Oh, I might be mixed up with another mod. And yeah, he's got the grunt art style, which is nice. You can break their backs as well, I think. I think you can. Is my in-game in audio is really loud? I'll probably have to tweak it. Just give me a second. Ooh, the effects are way too loud. Okay, that's better. Yeah, I just haven't been recording for a while, so I might be very rusty. Imagine like being away, you know, from Halo for like eight months or something. Well, in gaming in general, I have not been gaming like almost in eight months. Almost for like eight months, I have not been gaming. Yeah, this is the mod I was looking forward to. Like, I really wanted. Someone to mod H4, H4's campaign to make it how it should have been in 2012. 
Oh, this is really nice. Wow. Is that new? I don't remember that being an OG a squirrel. It's pretty nice. Yeah, I really like the uh, the assault rifle. Yeah, it definitely didn't look like that in OG actually. I don't remember it, it having lights and and a UNC logo. It's pretty nice. Where's the warthog, Cortana? There's one in here actually. Yeah, and you also change up the turret if, if anyone didn't realize. Like before, it had the, the uh, rectangular shape or something, which I wasn't really a big fan of. And here's the BR baby, let's go. <laughs> it looks so nice. Look at it, man. How could we not. Guys, like, we should have got this in 2012. What the hell? What, what were they playing at? Holy smokes. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the other BR, but this BR we should have got easily. Like maybe they could have kept that other BR as a variant, like as a side, uh, as a side thing, you know. But this battle rifle should should have been here, in like in every mission, almost, you know. I mean, I understand it might not be in every mission because uh, these weapons, you know, are very old and they've been floating in space for like four years. I mean, we should have at least uh, had it for three missions. But multiplayer, we should have had this, you know. Yeah, twenty four seven. Yeah, that's a new line as well. I've noticed. I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember hearing Chief saying that. He should have like woken me or something. I work on it. Like I, I've never heard him saying that. So he's got like cut lines as well. Cut dialogue, more like. I do remember seeing the alligators in this bit. I was watching someone else's video. I kind of spawned myself. Oh, it sounds good as well. I really like how the grunts look as well in this game. They don't look like the ones in OG. I, I think we still got those actually. But oh yeah, we've got the skirmishers as well. Got the needle rifle. Nice. Oh. Oh, one shot. <laughs> That's pretty dope, like, that he added uh, the alligators in this game. Like, we didn't really have wildlife in Infinite, actually. So it's really nice that we have them here. Let's use the turret gun. Ah, uh, it's good. Yeah, I really like the turret design as well. At least with the sound in it as well from Halo 3. Turret sound, which is pretty nice. Honestly, I probably won't really play a lot of H4's, you know, Halo 4's OG campaign. Just stick to this, I guess. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I actually still enjoy enjoyed Halo 4's campaign, regardless. But if I ever do want to come back, you know, playing it again, I just hop on here. You know, I am on PC at the end of the day, so I can just hop on. Halo 4 is mythic, right? Because honestly, this is what we should have got in 2012. Oh, watch out. Oh, he's got this as well, the plasma pistol. <gasps> Why don't you die, you Z lot? Okay, there you go. Should we pick up the sword? We can pick up the sword. I don't know if he's continuing working on this mod. There might be more updates, I'm not sure. Maybe it's been completed. I was hoping he was... I think he was supposed to... I don't know. Um, might be wrong, but like I think he also changed the soundtrack. But I haven't heard any like OG soundtracks in the game yet. Maybe in the late, maybe later in the mission we might, we might actually do. I don't know. I mean, I might not record the whole thing, but if a lot of people do like, you know, like the video, and if you had more, if you had more people watching it, then maybe I can continue uploading more videos like this. I probably, I will definitely play this off stream though, quite a lot. I really want to like fully experience uh, completing this. Ugh. A 
love the weapon sounds in this game. It sounds really good. I, don't, I just don't know why Thief 3 had to change up the classic sounds. Like, I feel like... I think they thought they can do better than Bungie. You know, by changing up the sounds and the aesthetics. Which is quite disrespectful, you know, for the franchise. Like, why would you change something that's not needed to be changed, you know? Oh, watch out. Right, it's got a camera. Alright, you can pick up fusion coils. You can pick this up. Yeah. <laughs> Need my ammo for my BR. I wish he had a flashlight. This is really dark in H4. H4 has really nice, like nice uh, Forerunner interior, Forerunner structures. But it's not really good as um, Halo Infinite's uh, uh, Forerunner structures. I think uh, they look amazing. It's a definitely massive of a jump. But this doesn't look too bad. It looks looks pretty good. It's the Covenant Carbine. Uh, swap with the sword. Has he done anything different with the Carbine? I think he has. I think he definitely has. Looks different. A little bit. It's so nice seeing the Master Chief's armor in H4's campaign. Like, yeah, this is how it should have been. Yeah. Let's get the needle rifle. Alright. Let's get activate this. Yeah, what do you guys think about H-Force camping overall? I mean, regardless of them changing the sounds and the art style. You know, I really enjoyed this game. You know, regardless. Even, like, in the first day it came out. But honestly, I'll probably enjoy it even more now. Because, like... <laughs> Because this looks uh, very good. This small. To activate that as well. Oh, I, I thought I could clamber. Wrong game. Thought it was infinite. How do I? How do I get around there? How do I get up there? I think I'm going the wrong way. Okay, let's go. I don't like how activating the button it does the animation thing. I don't. I'm not a big fan of that. I was hoping for him to remove that actually. Like just activate it automatically, you know. Don't we have to do the anim animation or something? I think I think Infinite has that right. I can't remember. It's a shame. I don't really remember much. Uh, you know. Infinite's campaign. I think it's the some of the gun, some of the gun audio sounds. Yeah, I just noticed some of the guns. Uh, they actually sound uh, a lot louder than the other ones. Like, for example, the carbine sounds really quiet, but then the need a need a rifle it sounds really loud. It needs to be doing a bit of tweaking there. I mean, I don't think it sounds loud actually, because I did uh, tweak down my effects of volume and my in-game volume. I think he just needs to buff up some of the Halo 4 sounds, like uh, Halo 4 gun sounds. Oh! Like, this is a Halo 4 gun sound, yeah, this is a default sound. Ugh. I want to assassinate someone, I haven't... Any assassinations in a while? Never mind. Alright, let's go. Chill out, Cortana. Oh, I'm working on it. Yeah, I think that is the Halo 3 armor. He must have done like a lot of um, edits on it, I guess. Yeah, he must have done a lot of like tweaks and stuff. 
Like, there's more textures. I've noticed. Because I, I recognise his hands. Like, it's exactly the same armor from Halo 3, it seems. It looks so good, wow. It's like Bungie made this. It actually feels like a, feels like Bungie made Halo 4, not 343. Talking about this mod. Alright guys, I'm gonna stop the video here. Uh the video has been uh, yeah, it's been going on for like 17 minutes. Uh yeah, I'm gonna be stopping the video here. Uh, I'll try to maybe like upload more videos if a lot of people do like uh, like the video and you know actually do watch it. Uh, I'll definitely upload this. I'll definitely play this off stream. I really wanna like complete this. Uh, mod, uh, you know, ex experience, you know, Halo 4, you know, how it should have been uh, back in 2012. Uh, I'm going to stop the video here. Uh, be sure to uh, like and subscribe and, and also follow us on Twitch. I do stream Halo a lot on Twitch and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.